Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Yellow. We're back here in the saddest place on Earth, and now it's time for us to go on ahead and deal with the Lavender Tower. Now that we've gotten not only the Silph Scope, but also we've beaten Erica. And Erica was kind of a chore. But I happen to have a secret weapon. Don't you worry. Well, aside from the Silph Scope, which now identifies all these Pokémon that's been scaring the crap out of my Pokémon. And here's my secret weapon. Enjoy! Oh! Oh! Right off the gate with Nightshade, huh? Kind of a dick move there. But yeah, enjoy Bubble Beam! Uh... Um... Yeah, let's switch out. Let's switch out. I want to catch a Gassy. Over! Oh! It starts with this, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Let's see if we'll catch him. Bitch! Just chuck Pokeballs at it, I guess. Well, that was stupid, I guess. That I guess it works though. I got me a ghastly at least. Alright. And I do believe there's also a keybone here too. And of course, there's mediums. Which is why I came here later. Well, Chandler, actually. They're called mediums in Gen 2, but still, they might as well be. Anyway, Ghastly is Ghost and Poison. Sand Slash, and if you have, like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Rock Slide, Earthquake would actually do wonders. I put Raticate in the box for a reason. With the exception of Lick, not Lick, I mean Water Gun, it really is not going to do much to Ghastly. Because all of his moves would pretty much do, well, Deadly Squat. Now, for that said, I'm going to go on ahead and get some Super Potions to some of my Pokemon. Because, yeah, we're going to need it. Oh, yeah, and I had Squirtle in the box for a while, so... He'll be a war turtle. Wait, hold on. Is there two ways here, or is there... Oh, I keep forgetting to put repels on. And I thought I had super repels, too, so... In fact, hold on. Let's see. In fact, I... Oh... Oh, no. No! I forgot to put on repels! Shit! So what's up here? I'll tell you what, more fights! And probably some more items. I'll come back next time and get the items. But for right now, we're clearing out Lavender Tower. Or at least the first part of it anyway. And once again, we run into a Ghastly. So here's all the... Pokemon you're going to run into. Ghastly, Cubone, and probably Marowak. That's all you're going to be running into. And seeing as how Ghastly already knows Nightshade and Confuse Ray, that kind of sucks. That's okay, though. Okay, that's not okay. That's definitely not okay. Take a thunderbolt for your troubles, Ghastly! And stop licking me! And I'm paralyzed! Joy! Thank god I got all those paralyzed hills slipped over! Alright! Thrash time! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, wait, I can't... Oh, God, what have I done? I think I just killed Nino King! No! I totally forgot! 
That was the stupidest thing I've ever done! No! No, I think I just killed Nido King! Switch! Switch now! Ah, uh, Jesus Christ! And now he uses Nightshade! Oh, piss off! Oh, come on! And I think Squirtle is done. Okay, okay, you got this one. No! Yeah, Night State's really dangerous. And it doesn't do critical hits, but still. Stop it! I hope Nido King's not confused anymore. Oh wait, thanks a lot! You just made him confused again! Now die for your troubles! He wasn't powerful! He wasn't strong! It's just the fact that this guy just... used Confuse Ray! <sighs> I don't have much to say on this. I really don't. Well, I don't have much to say on it anymore, because Little King is now dead. Or barely alive, at least. I'm about to say, man. I hope it doesn't kill me. Thank you! At least Nido King now has more HP to work with and can't be easily killed off by a goddamn nightshade. Seriously, that's ridiculous. Now that I think about it, don't I have a hyper potion around here somewhere? Yes, I do. Take this and get your health back. And elixir, awesome. And Awakening! I'm gonna need that! Because I do believe Hotter has Hypnosis! Nope! Run! <sighs> God damn it! Me without repels! Run! Now that I think about it, I do have a level 22 Squirtle, and he should have evolved by now. That's because I had him in the uh, daycare center. I'll eventually drop another Pokemon in there eventually. Well, before we get to the self company, that is. But right now... Oh no. Oh, I'm about to say... Whew! I thought this was going to be another fight. But at least this is a place where you can heal. Thank God! Because in order for you to get any further, well, you're going to have to fight. Damn it! Okay, that's annoying. Um, you know what? Screw it. Pikachu, come out here. What do you know? Pikachu gets hit with Nightshade as well. Go figure. At least Pikachu has a higher special. Stop licking Pikachu! No! Okay, I got gotcha. you. Birds of a feather flock to- oh, shit. And I got confused and paralyzed. Oh, thank you very much! No? Oh no! Oh 
Oh, I so hate Confuse Ray. That's okay. Pidgeotto's pretty much... Pidgeotto's got this because he's half normal. No, what? Now that I think about it, why didn't I use Pidgeotto? That is a really interesting question. Why didn't I use Pidgeotto when he's half normal? God damn it. All right, I was trying to evolve Squirtle, that's why. On that note, Squirtle has now evolved into War Turtle. Now, let's heal. That is a good thing, at least. We can somewhat heal. Crap. Switch it out. Come on, Pidgeotto. You're gonna be the star today. Except for when Confuse Ray comes in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Oh, crap, I forgot. Razor Wind doesn't affect him. God damn. Damn it! I forgot Razor Wind's not a flying type move! <sighs> oh, right, and we were in front of a trainer, too. Wait, give me your so Are you Shang Tsung or something? Oh no, these are all uh, trainers possessed by Honor and Ghastly. Speaking of which, there's a Haunter! Lovely! I forgot what level of Haunter Mikasi evolves in Haunter. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. But Haunter is just like Ghastly. It's got Nightshade, it's probably got Lick. And it also has Confuse Ray. And ironically, it's faster than what Pidgeotto is. <coughs> oh, for Christ's sakes! And fly! Thank you! Have a nice day! Get- Oh, I thought I got him. Oh no! Crap! Now we can fly, and we can finish him off! There we go! Have a nice day! Get wrecked! And I'll take care of that, Chandler. Healing! Oh, by the way, this also revives all your Pokémon that's been killed. So at least I can show that off. Too bad they don't have one on every floor. Run! I think we're gonna have to go through a couple of battles here. <laughs> oh, this is why I have to Squirtle. Because guess what? Cubone is weak to water. Fantastic. I could have caught that. Really, I could have. But oh well. Let's get past this area. <sighs> I've made so many rookie mistakes. I totally forgot about the fact that, well, normal doesn't do jack shit to ghosts, and vice versa. Well, without the means of a second attack, but they don't exist in this gen. So with that said, Bubble Bean. And I get confused. And yeah, Bubble Beam does sound horrible. Exceptionally horrible. No! Ah, damn it! Lower his speed, damn it! I'm not that lucky. Ouch. Uh 
Okay. We got a critical hit, but I don't want to hear that sound, so let's switch. Aha! Gotcha, bitch! Don't! Ugh. Can I not win? Seriously. Stupid channelers. Hold on. I'm gonna have to heal... War Turtle. And we're gonna switch. Because Pidgeotto is definitely gonna be a star of this entire ordeal. And yes, of course, we're blocked. Why aren't we? Alright! It's another Ghastly! Yay! Guess who's got priority? Ghastly. Even though Pidgeotto's a level 26. Please don't get confused and beat yourself up in the face. Oh, never mind. That works. Alright. Ooh, rare candy. And, of course, Ghastly. <sighs> run! If we run into another Cubone, I'm catching that bitch. Okay, this can be monotonous, folks. Well, what is there to say? You're right. Oh! So what's here? So who is blocking our path? It's a Marowak! At level 30. Which, ironically enough, his attacks won't be able to do anything to Pidgeotto. So, uh, raise a win for your troubles. Uh-oh. Ha! Screw you! I told you this would be the actual all-star here. Although if Pidgeotto ever gets hit with a normal attack, Pidgeotto's gonna fall, plain and simple. And... Pidgeotto miss. <sighs> oh, and there it goes! Down goes Pidgeotto! Damn it! Okay. I got a war turtle just for this occasion. And done. I don't think you could catch this. I don't think you could catch Marowak actually. Oh right, we do have to actually battle somebody here. Uh oh. Just heal first. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Revive. Revive. Uh. I don't know what just happened there, but. Audio's not breaking out. It's just the, uh. I guess it's the. Uh. Something happened. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. There was something here. I'm gonna get it later. For right now, we need the Poke Flute. And we're about to fight Team Rocket for it. So let's just take him down. And this will be our third encounter with these guys? So, Rocket sits up Meow. 
And I think I'm gonna have the lead on this one. It's not gonna take him down, but hey. Let's just keep using the quick attack until it works. And that's the enemy out. Oh wait, no it's not. Meow's still up. So Pidgeotto pretty much took down Team Rocket. And Jesse's uh Ekans evolved into an Arbok. Time to get out the Sand Slash. And let's finish this. Ha! Screw you! And take a dick for your troubles. Now all that's left is Weezing. Which thank god he doesn't have Levitate in this gen. No, that won't be until Gen 6. Alright. One more dig and we should be finished with Team Rocket for good. And with that said... Sand Slash has pretty much finished off the remainder of Team Rocket. And Jesse and James are blasting off yet again. We won't be seeing those guys again until the Self Company. In the meantime... We're running into more Gastlys, which is more powerful than the last. Stop it! God, that is annoying. And me without my repels. I'm gonna buy some repels from here on in. Anyway... So, we talked to Mr. Fuji, who tried to calm the soul of uh, Marowak's mother, who's only here because Team Rocket was actually doing stuff here in this tower. Specifically trying to catch dead Pokemon for their own selfish game. And because of that, Mr. Fuji will give you the Poke Food for actually uh, calming Cubone's mother. And on that note, we got ourselves a Poke Flute. And this will help us go to Fuchsia City. And more importantly, clear off Route 12 and the other route that's on the other side of Celadon City. So on that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys next time when we go one-on-one -on -one with Snorlax. And hopefully, catch one or beat him, whichever one's the case. It'll start the road to Fuchsia City. See you guys in the next episode.